Mina, can you please tell us about PPC Discovery Campaigns? So, PPC Discovery Campaigns, uh, basically, you know, when I give you the video on the launch strategy, those are campaigns uh, that their job, you know, is to find more keywords for you. Again, the general goal of, of PPC or, or what we want to do with our PPC is to find every single keyword and ASIN out there that anyone, like if anyone types in any keyword that is remotely related to my product that they, they're looking for an electrolyte powder, I want to find that. So even if they say unflavored electrolyte powder that is good for women over the age of 35, I want to target that keyword. Even if one person searches it a month, I want to be there. We can't come up with all of these keywords, but we, what we can do is we can use Amazon's data, which means we'll launch these auto campaigns, we launch the broad and the phrase campaigns, and those discover more keywords. Where are those keywords discovered? In the search term report. So if you go into Amazon and you, and you go into uh, campaign manager, and then on the left, you go and you click on reports, It'll give you options to download the search term report for a certain date range. And then in there, once you download that and you open it up, you'll see that there are certain keywords that you're bidding on. So for example, I'm bidding on uh, electrolyte powder and then the customer search term, which is what that keyword discovered can be unflavored electrolyte powder, sugar free electrolyte powder, electrolyte powder for keto. And it's all these variations of electrolyte powder. Now, if it's broad, Amazon can add keywords and it can replace a keyword. It can switch the positions. Uh, very, very, very liberal with what you can do with the broad. So electrolyte powder, you can add on both ends. You can take one out, uh, you know, uh, take one of the keywords out, add it, replace it and so on and so forth with phrase. You cannot replace a keyword. They have to be touching. You can put a keyword at the beginning or at the end and you can switch the position, but those two keywords ha have to be touching. Now, obviously there's also a lot of play with uh, plurals and things like that and misspellings. So again, Amazon has a lot of freedom. They do not talk exactly about what they do. So with broad and with phrase, if you go in and, and um, you create a campaign, a keyword campaign, manual keyword campaign, scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see three check boxes where you can check broad phrase and exact. There is a small little I with a circle, which is like information. If you hover over it, they explain what broad and phrase and exact is. And, and, and you know, you can hover over match type and explain what that is. Unfortunately, that's all the information that we have on those match types. And Amazon is very vague. Like for example, with the auto campaign with the loose match, it says, keywords that are loosely uh, related to your product. So does anyone know exactly how Amazon does it? No, we can look at what we've seen anecdotally and, and comment on that. But the you know, Amazon's explanation is very vague. So that's pretty much what discovery campaigns are used for. They're used to discover keyword camp uh, keywords that customers are searching th that might be interested in your product. And, and it does that by saying, okay, I'm going to, based on this keyword electrolyte powder, I'm going to show Mina's product everywhere for all these different customer search terms. And then if someone clicks on it, we're going to record that. So then you get data as like, Hey, someone who, who typed in unflavored electrolyte powder saw my ad and clicked on it, which gives me knowledge that someone who is looking for an unflavored electrolyte powder is interested in my product. And that's pretty much it. Great explanation. Thank you.